What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode from CA Builds. If you guys are new here, tap that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. Today we're back in our 2016 Ford F-150. If you guys haven't seen this truck yet, I'll link some videos down below. Make sure you guys check it out. But today's the day we're gonna complete this thing 100%. We're gonna put some wheels, tires, lift on it. And this thing is just gonna look like an absolute beast. Let me show you guys a little more. And here it is. If it's the first time seeing this truck, it's a 2016 Ford F-150. I bought it from Copart, it was smashed on this side. We replaced the fender, hood, headlights, grill, basically the whole front end over here. It had some frame damage as well. We had to get it pulled. We painted it and now it just looks beautiful. The whole front end looks so good. We're still missing the bumper. The bumper's right here. There's a whole bunch of pieces here. I still need to put it all together, throw it on the truck and it's gonna be looking so good. We're gonna put these covers on the sides. I painted the actual bumper gray so it can match the grill of the truck. The grill is gray and basically over here where the grill ends, that's where the bumper is going to be gray. And then the edges are going to be red to match the truck and it's going to look so good. All these plastics need to go on there. So we're going to button all this up, throw it on there. And then after that, we're going to be ready for mods and it's going to change the whole look of this truck. It's going to look so sick. I'll tell you guys a little more once we have the bumper on. But for now, let's go let the dogs out and start working. I got the whole bumper put together and it's just looking beautiful. All the plastics, moldings, everything's on it. Still got to put on these little rubber pieces, but these will go after the bumpers already on the truck. Yeah, buddy. And then that plastic over there is going to go on last. So now we just got to get this bumper and throw it on here. It is a couple days later. It was super windy that day, so I didn't want to record then, but I got the bumper on. This thing's 100% done, and man, it's just beautiful. Let me show you guys. But we're not done here. I still have a lot of plans for this thing. I wanna run a six inch lift, get some 35 inch tires. And usually I do that myself, but there's a local shop here in Sacramento that it's actually cheaper for me to do the whole thing with them. So they do the six inch lift kit. They get the wheels, the tires, they put those on. And it's actually cheaper to do it that way than for me to do the lift myself and get the wheels and tires. So they do like a whole package deal thing. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with them. It doesn't really make sense for me to do it, waste a whole bunch of time and actually pay more money to get the lift on there. I mean, it does kind of suck because I wanted to show you guys the process of me lifting the truck and doing all of that, but it just doesn't make sense financially. If they can do it for cheaper, why not? But for now, these bad boys right here are no longer needed. So we're gonna go and burn those up. That will be a wrap for today. We still need some tires left to get to the shop, but it's the last time you guys are gonna see the F-150 looking like that. Tomorrow we're gonna take it to the shop, get the lift and wheels done, and I'll catch you guys then. All right, guys, some time has passed. I just couldn't get to finishing this video, but the truck is done. Well, somewhat done. We got our wheels on, we got our lift on, but the wheels that are on the truck right now are not the ones that I initially ordered. So I ordered a set of wheels and apparently they were in back order. And the guy at the shop was like, hey, I got this other set of wheels. We could throw those on the truck. If you like them, cool. If not, then we'll just wait for the other set to come and then we can swap them. And I was like, hmm, that's not a bad idea. But I think he knew what he was doing because now I'm starting to like these ones right here. I just kind of have mixed feelings about them. So I'll show you guys, see what you guys think. But man, this thing just looks amazing. It's like a whole different truck. Check this thing out guys. This thing just looks like a beast. Any angle you look at it, it looks so amazing. So these wheels are here. They are 20 by 12s. I believe they're negative 44 offset and check them out. So basically what I don't like about them is the silver parts. The silver right here, the silver in the middle, and then the silver drop star name, whatever it's called. But the wheels, the wheels look good. I mean, they are not bad looking wheels. I just do not like the silver. If they were all black, in my opinion, they would look a lot better. Maybe some people like the silver, but I personally don't. And that's the main reason why I didn't want to get these wheels. I did get the Toyo RTs. They are 35 by 12 and a half by 20. I just really like these tires because they look beefy. They look aggressive and mean, but at the same time, they're soft and they're not that loud on the road. So these are probably my favorite tires. I've had a couple pair of these on these kind of F-150s and they're just amazing. But take a look at this thing, man. It looks so good all around and i did do a six inch lift it was a cheap rough country lift i did not want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on coilovers on these big expensive lifts maybe in the future on some bigger newer builds but not on this one over here this is a budget build so i wanted to do as cheap as possible i believe this lift was a little over a thousand dollars which is a really good deal for this truck in the back he did actually change the shock i believe in the lift kit the shock gets replaced there's a couple spacers over there and then the front, there's just one big old spacer right here. Some suspension over there, some spacers that drop the whole suspension on the bottom. And just little things you have to do here and there to get it installed. But man, take a look at this thing. It just looks so good. Let me show you guys how wide it looks. Just take a look at this thing. I really like the 20 by 12s. They just look super aggressive. The 20 by 10s look nice. They look okay. But it just doesn't have the aggressive look that these 20 by 12s have. And it just looks amazing. It is a little dirty in there from going off-roading and whatnot. But man, this thing is just looking so good. Let me know what you guys think about these wheels. I'll drop a picture of the other ones that I initially ordered somewhere right here so you guys can kind of compare the two. Honestly, I probably still will get the other pair of wheels. Just throw those on because I do like those more. These are really nice wheels, but if I can get those without paying for anything, I'm going to do that and it's just going to look so good. And man, that grill bumper combo over there, the gray is looking so nice on this truck. And I already took two long road trips on this truck and it's just been doing amazing. Everything's perfect pretty much other than the paint in the hood. I'm not sure what exactly happened right here. Let me show you. So check this out. The whole bottom part of the hood has some kind of line that went all the way right here. I have no idea what that is. When I picked it up from the paint shop, none of that was there. Then I noticed this over here, it kind of went up to right there. 
and then about a week later went all the way here which is super weird i've never had anything like this on any cars before where it did that by itself if there's any painters out there let me know what this is because i have no idea i already spoke to my paint guy we will get the stain repainted and today i actually noticed another one up here let me get up there for you guys check this out right there i have no idea what happened here oh there's a third one right here as well the hood was honestly probably not prepped right i don't think it was prepped right that's why this is happening but this whole thing over here is doing the same thing and over there as well and i just noticed this today because the truck is super tall you can't really see anything up there but we will get that resprayed we'll get the hood looking brand new and none of that will be noticeable but the truck is pretty much done i was thinking of wrapping it i was either going to do nardo gray or satin gray but I don't think I'll be doing it. The red actually looks pretty good. Let me know if you guys want to see a price breakdown on it. I might do that a little later, but for now, let's just go give you guys a couple rolling shots and finish off the video. will be a wrap for today's video and probably a wrap for this build if you guys enjoyed it do me a favor hit that like button if you want to stick around don't forget to subscribe we will be having some new builds coming to the channel pretty soon here so i'll catch you guys in the next video peace